Okay, for installing this mod manager, slam, I'm going to go to the GitHub page. Go to releases on the right here. Download whichever zips on the latest release, which will be 1.1.2 at the moment. There we go, so it's downloaded. It is zipped, but you can just drag it out of there. It's just the desktop for now. What you'd want to do is put this wherever you want to keep it before you run the installer. Personally, I'm going to have it next to my DCS installation, which will be... I have a C, one on the C drive here, so Eagle Dynamics, you could put it there in C, normal location, but I actually have just moved it to a separate SSD under E, so Eagle Dynamics, I'm going to put that right next to the DCS World folder, but you can have it anywhere, I mean it's better it's on the same drive. So if we go into here, open the config.txt, a little bit bigger. It's pretty straightforward. This section is just comments. These two are the important values here. So your core game directory. If you are on the release version of DCS, which is here, your core game directory would be this value. Program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World. If you were on Open Beta, which is not around anymore, it would be that. Steam, so on, so on. And the save game directory value here uh, it should be the same for no. It says save game DCS and then DCS dot open beta DCS. But this value here, you don't actually have to put your user profile in. It'll automatically pull it. If you're just on release version, your save game directory is where it should be. You don't have to edit any of this. It's already got it. C program files. Eagle Dynamics DCS world. That will be, you know, if you copy this. You run, paste that in, user profile, save game. See, it opens it there. You don't have to edit that. Backup directory by default will be in the slam directory, then games, the game, and it'll be in this backup folder here. Uh, you can change that, but you don't have to fill it in because it'll default to there. Yeah, so. For me, because I've moved it to E drive, I actually don't want to do it to C. I'm going to remove, I'll manually edit this, so that would be, change that to E. I don't have program files. It's just E, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World. So that's E, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World. So that's where my installation is. So I want to save that. Save, quit. Let's go back into Slam. If we go into the games directory, DCS, and we've got two folders here called core mods, which is empty, save game mods, also empty. Uh, that's where you want to put your sort of OVGME sort of style mod folders into. For example, mine are here on the desktop, mods core. You, what you want to do is copy them in to that directory or cut them, you know, you want, or move them. It's a standard format. Each mod has you know, the file structure of the core game directory it's going into, just like OVGME. I want to move, well, I want to cut all of these, move them to Slam Games DCS Core Mods, because they are my core mods. All in, and then Save Game Mods. I get my mod save game. Again, same thing. Control X, Control V. So now I can delete this folder. So I've got my save game mods, core mods, backup because they're not applied, should be empty. So now we can install, well, install slam by clicking the install.bat file. We'll get a warning here because it's been downloaded online. Run anyway. Yes to the UAC prompt. So the script is running, shortcut path, created a shortcut on the desktop. Press any key to continue, so just hit enter. And that's our shortcut there. So we can actually close, no, I'll leave this open actually. I'll just open the backup folder and leave that on the side. 
can open slam now by clicking the shortcut, accept the prompt. Here we go. Right, and then I'm just going to open Task Manager. You don't need to do this. To go on performance, it's on the E drive. Just to show you how much data has been moved around when you apply each mod. This interface is very simple. Available games, DCS. So that's number one. Type number one, hit enter. Then it gives you the two uh, parent directories, core mods or save game. We will go to, and that will be a list of all the files we just put in, the mod module directories. To know if they're installed or not, if it's white, just standard listing, that means it's not applied. Once they're applied, they turn green, so we'll put on, I will apply one. There we go. That's applied. What else do we want? Uh, number seven. As you can see, the disk usage is pretty much non existent. Once it applies, it does have full log output. It says press any key to return to the mod selection. So if you just hit enter after uh, that's finished, you'll just return to the uh, mod selection page. Hit enter. Uh, 11. Uh, for an example, this, uh, this is the backup directory now populating with the um, files, the original files which are being replaced so it keeps them backed up so you, when you restore your DCS will go back to your like, standard uh, installation. But if we go to core mods, I do have optimized core and I think optimized core is bigger. Um, yeah, it's 10.5 gig. What's this one? Six to bit. So 10 gig file here, looking at the disk usage and that is number 18. If we apply this and see Read speed, write speed are in the kilobytes. That's already finished. Hit enter. That's applied. Uh, I don't actually want that on, so I'm going to take it off. And you'll see it doesn't take very long. There we go. If you type B, it'll go back to the main page. Select one again. I'm going to go to save game mods. Uh, and I'm going to apply most of these. Done. Two. Three. Yeah, why not? Done. So that's basically it. It's very simple.